Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nisse and today we're gonna make a fixer upper. Um, as you know, if you watch this Luca Family Zoo series, I made this forest, uh, European for forest, um, for the fellow deer and the flamingo. But I said already back then that as soon as I could get some other for more foresty animals in here, I would get rid of my flamingos because to be honest, flamingos don't really like the forest that much. I just wanted to bring some life in to my forest, uh, so that's why I added them in here. And then now I got some other animals to get in here, so instead we're gonna get rid of the flamingos. I just want to go in here and clean up. Um, don't really remember how much stuff we have for the flamingo in here. Well, this one we're gonna uh, keep. Uh, I think we're gonna add an animal that needs it, but otherwise we just want it to be there <laughs> because it's pretty. There. Was that all we had for the flamingo in here? I think so, or else we're probably gonna notice when we start adding other stuff in here. Um, but again, I didn't build this uh, habitat for the flamingo, so I just added enough to make them happy. Um, but not overly... Um, what's it called? Uh, but not that they took... Uh, too much space in this habitat so not the platypus uh, but we have three mats we're gonna use today uh, maybe also some stuff mats I'm not sure about that um, but the first animal we're gonna uh, move in here is the mute swan beautiful creature um, Actually, I'm just gonna check my list here. It's made by Narwhaler and I have a full video on my review on this mod uh, which I have linked down below. Uh, but we're just gonna go into Zoopedia here and look a mother that takes this much time to research the animal um, and ma make the right map. Some of them just make a random map um, but when they really take that time to go in and fix all of this uh, I, I really appreciate it here you can see we can ha have 10 uh, adult swans five males five females they are confident with human and humans can enter the habitat I have checked all three animals we're gonna add today can uh, guess can enter the habitat I actually thought found a third mod i also wanted to add another deer species but the other deer co couldn't have guessed entering the habitat and the whole, whole theme of my forest is that it could be a, a path of a random forest that this zoo is built out of so we're gonna get five males and five females And to be perfectly honest with you, uh, I have uh, overcrowding turned off, so we could actually add as many as we want to. Just in there. And while they are going to quarantine, we're gonna add the mo moflon, <laughs> European mo mof moflon. Um. Probably never gonna be able to pronounce that right while I'm recording. Uh, I am able to say it when I have no mic near my face at all, but um, sadly not when I <laughs> record. Um, but in here you can see also a good amount of text, and it's also a European. Well, it is the European mouthlon. Um, <laughs> how? Damn it! Um, and it's also belong in Denmark uh, according to this, uh, but according to this, it's only in Germany, Spain, Portugal, Hungary, Slo Slovakia, uh, uh, 
Austria, Poland, France, and more. Uh, I will say though, uh, I have never seen it in Denmark. It doesn't mean it isn't here, but I, I haven't seen it. Um, and I, uh, Denmark is a pretty small country, and my family always went to vacation, like camping in inside of the country. So I have seen a lot of the Danish nature. Uh, we can have up to one male and 39 females and their relationship with humans are neutral so they don't like too much uh, closeness with humans but they can work if you get sometimes you can have animals where the guests can enter but they are shy about humans so you will stress the animal even though the guests are able to enter um, so we're gonna go to the market here. I just gonna check. Nope. Um, a lot of mothers as actually add uh, interspecies enrichment, even though uh, they don't have to. Uh, which I I actually really like when they do because it gives it some more realism. Um, I haven't researched the animals for today, to be honest. Um. Mainly because then this episode would be much longer than it's going to. I'm just gonna add 10 of them. You can see here I also get some bad one and it's because for... Well, first of all, it bring in realism. And second of all, well, if you have that many females, then as long as your male is good, then you will still get a lot of reproduction. But since you only have one male, if he was bad, then you wouldn't get that many kids. You can have some good and some get bad females when you have all of this and you will still get a lot of kids. Uh, just on the better ones mainly. And then for our last animal today, it's the... Sorry, my sp I just need to spell it out here. <laughs> uh, European Grounds Royal. And the... Uh, we got just gonna go to Superior again. Here you can see full Superior with a bit of research. Um, again, an animal I have never seen it in Danish nature, but I can better understand if I miss this one since it's much much smaller. Um, here you can see ten individual. Sorry, twenty individual, ten and ten. And here we're gonna get ten of each. Um, mainly because it's such such a small animal. It's not my plan to build anything new in the habitat. It's only my plan to uh, m make it fit these animals better. Maybe just change some bushes or something like that. But that's it uh, since I already made the habitat. Uh, but when we get them in there, we will see if they need anything else. Here you can see it actually like the alpine ibex. Ibex, Ibex, uh, and the European follow deer. So we're gonna get it in here. Um, we're not gonna add this one because, as you can see here, we can get the guest in there. Um, and just if you didn't know, when the murder at the uh, at interspecies enrichment for the one animal, then it doubles over. So here at the Alpine Ibex, you can still see it here. So we're gonna get 10 of each. Uh, if you want to see my me building this entire habitat, I'm just gonna zoom out. It's the one here. Uh, then you can actually uh, go and watch that. I will link the video below along with the video of my restaurant in here. I didn't build that at the same time as I made the habitat in here, even though it is combined. Uh, so it's a two video I added below. So you have a bit to watch today if you haven't already. If you want to, uh, I really can't tell you what to do, but if you want to, it's there. Yeah, I have some issues here with the information bots, which gonna be fixed when we get the animals in here. I'm just gonna 
go in here and see this is for the European fellow deer. Yeah, I have no animals in here right now, but I'm pretty sure this one is going to use this. Then we got a ball, which if I can pick it down here somehow. I think I placed it down here. Nope, I can't pick the ball, so it stays there. Then we got... Large ball. Oh, it belongs up here, that's why. And the feeder. And now it's in the middle of the night. I'm just gonna fix the time here. Uh, so you can see 12 o'clock. Uh, what happens? Then we got feeder, feeder. Oops. I think in here I only yeah I only have the straw um, feeder what's that large barrel feeder which are on the run right now <laughs> perfectly uh, if you wonder where this um, path is going it's going outside the zoo because I have this idea that this would be a as I said before a part of a bigger forest that would be out here and then if you have a, a membership card uh, I know in some Danish zoo you can get a, a what a, a year um, membership uh, so you can enter without going through the main entrance then you could just take this route but it would have some time Maybe a app you would need to open this or something like that. Um, and then you would yeah, come through the, the local forest up here. Hmm. What happens with my animals? Are they coming? Yeah, we have a line here which really isn't weird. We just... Oh, my platypus meal. I forgot he was there. Over there. It's maybe an hour since I added him, so it isn't that weird that he's maybe a bit mad. I just wanna hear so we can see when the new animals come. I do think maybe I'm gonna close off this window depending on whether or not we stress these animals too much um that will be pretty much up to them but actually the deers don't go that much in here i know this building is actually too small for the deers um but they never use it you can see here we have two and we have like a million deers in here <laughs> so Yeah, there's quite a bit of a long way from the country quarantine area to here but uh, I think it's the first one that's coming up here yeah it's my mute swan and don't look at their feet <laughs> I said that in the um, review I did at the mud uh, they are made as a other uh, on the rig of the flamingo, I think, so that's why the uh, computer actually think they're taller than they are. Beautiful creatures. I love to look at swans. I don't like swans. Um, <laughs> I move. Uh, we have a small. What's it called? Um, it's not a lake, and it's not a. Yeah, it's real, real small uh, a body of water, just two minutes from where my family home is, and there, they they actually released two swans out there where that has got the wing clip, so they wasn't able to move away from there, 
and they were so aggressive um i was terrified from for, from them when i was a child um yeah they 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 was just vicious animals and they are so strong and i have heard i haven't checked but i have heard that they would be able to break a grown man's arm um which doesn't look like it but it i have seen animals do things they shouldn't be able to do so it really isn't that weird yeah here i'm just gonna add all of the animals in here uh, it's not my plan to have a speed part in here because it's hopefully gonna be a really short video but i just wanted to show you that i went back to an old habitat and fixed it this way that's so cute I believe they're from Leaf Production, the Mouthlan. Yeah, they are. Um, again, video below if you want to see it up close uh, and a view of the animal itself. I'm kind of terrified inside that my computer is going to break in a minute. Uh, because I add a lot of animals at the same time here. I'm just 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 to be safe here <laughs> Am I the only one that got kind of Constantly terrified every time I played this game that it will be crashing at some point Now the crown squirrel is the animal I'm the most afraid about because it isn't that confident about hu around humans. Uh, but I believe it's small enough and we're gonna add some stuff they can hide beneath if they want to around the zoo, so uh, around the habitat, so they don't need to run in here if they don't want to. Um, yeah, it takes some time to edit. All of these animals. I'm just gonna go out here for a minute. I love my waterfall. And you can climb the rocks. That that's cute. That's real cute. I wonder though, are you able to leave the habitat then? Well, only up here. Um, I have escape turned off, so this should be fine. Uh, if you don't know, I did... Yeah, you shouldn't be able to go up there. I added these ones here that should make that the animals was unable to uh, walk on them. Uh, but apparently they don't care. Uh, I know uh, uh, zoos that have these barriers like this. Um, when you go in and out of an, an uh, 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 when you go in and out of a habitat because their hooves uh, actually would be unable to walk on uh, these. Um. Wow, I'm unable to speak today. Apparently, um, but the animals would be unable to walk on them, so it's just to satisfy the game. I have escape turned off, so it wouldn't. They wouldn't go up there. What are you doing? Well, that doesn't go that well, does it? If I move you over there, is that better? Yeah, great. This is an issue I have in here, um, which isn't the weirdest <laughs> issue I could have, um, but in here I got a roadblock a lot. I was actually, I had to, to be able to do anything today. I changed my guest number from 4,000 to uh, 2,500. Uh, so we wouldn't have too much many guests in this particular habitat. But uh, yeah, now I add new animals, so they're gonna, Flock to this area. 
hopefully it's gonna fix itself in a minute or two when people have seen these animals then they're gonna go away <laughs> um but it is my plan that we're gonna try to make this a little bit wider i really didn't want a ride uh, path in here um because i want the animals to get around it um but i have to this is from the ground squirrel so that should actually help the ground squirrel uh, not get too stressed out So, if we start with this one, I still have an animal or two in current quarantine that isn't ready. Uh, you just need some food enrichment and then you will be happy. Uh, you would like to have a little more rock in here, but the fellow deer won't. Uh, so I think we're gonna leave it like that. And it's too overgrown for you, which isn't that weird, but you're gonna live with it. So we're just gonna give you some food enrichment. So we're gonna go in here and <laughs> I just removed that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna add that again, apparently. So I actually think because it was real clumsy before, so I just want to... make this a bit wider I really don't care that much of the shape it's not my plan to build anything out here I care a bit more here because we have our gift shop over here which uh, not a lot of people actually visit because we don't have that much here um, this habitat they probably mostly come over here and that way and then leave the same way again uh because they can get in there um and here you can see a lot of them actually stop here and then go back so but we've gonna go in here and in there and in there and then we're gonna start with just adding one. That wasn't good enough. Then we're gonna add another one. I could add it over here where I had one before, but I really didn't want it to be there. Um, just gonna give them a bit more space then. There and we're gonna pick a swan again. Where is my beautiful swanshee? And you are also able to walk on the stones. <laughs> and that would be enough. So we already make this one happy. Then we're gonna take the mouth long. You, you don't like the habitat at all. It's the temperature, it's too hot. Well, how hot do you like it to be? No more than 16 degrees. Well, if I set it to 15, this one will also be fine. The deer will also be fine. <laughs> okay, this <laughs> the ground swirl can go for 0 to 50. So I can actually cool this down a bit if you want to. Um, but how much of it? I don't feel like I want to fix everything in here 
actually think that I have actually heaters in here. Yeah. So if I set inside to 15 degrees. I think I placed them, but I'm pretty sure I placed them uh, somewhere beneath the bushes. So my, yeah, the animals is not gonna enjoy this, but uh, we're gonna make it snow. To see where, did I place any? It doesn't seem like I placed any. No, nothing is keeping it warm now. <laughs> it gets to actually look like they become happy now. Um, so we're gonna go back to the sun here. Um, there. Um, habitat. It's probably a cooler I need, not a heater. So if we place one down here, that would be around 10 degrees. then I could place one behind here that people wouldn't see. I just think my guests are gonna enjoy this habitat in the summer. Uh, maybe not in the winter, but maybe one in here could be good. What if... Uh, this is fake stone, so it wouldn't be weird to place something in here. There. But if I change this to no more than 10, 15 degrees and change this one to mo no, mo no less than 5 degrees then I would keep it hot and cold at the same time so it would like be in that span hotter than 5 Yeah, we apparently only got a uh, Heater and a cooler, we don't have something that can do both. Hmm. Yeah, and what's next? I would. It would be good to maybe add something in here. Um, what if we did this in here? Like real low here. Then people would be unable to see it probably yeah you can see that hmm. I don't think the entire habitat be needs to be that cold but maybe just maybe add something in here where people again wouldn't look probably probably wouldn't look
Gotta be more visible than the other ones, but we're gonna go with. And then there's a bit of a heat patch there, but that will be fine. Then they can just move away from it. Most animals actually are really clever about that. Like they will learn to know if I have snow in one end of the area and heat in the other, I, then they will figure out where they want to be. Uh, they're still not too happy about the temperature. 81 degree uh, percent happy, so that's fine. The food enrichment's fine. The toy enrichment's fine. Just checking the deer to make sure. Yeah, and it got an interspecies bonus on 10%. So it's happier than it was before. <laughs> now for the channels. Channel. I thought that would be a challenge. Um, what about the habitat? 82% hot shelter. That's okay. Food and toy. We need some food and toy. So going in here again oh the tunnels yay and the ball I'm not gonna add sprinklers when we get got the guests in there and they get uh, have enough of water so the tunnels the trunks tunnel thingy and the herb synth something something and their only food enrichment is melons where did you go <laughs> yeah there they are so cute. Again, my full review on them are linked below. Uh, hof hopefully, if I remember every single link I was going to do. So we're gonna play some of these and I think we're gonna be a bit creative. So we wanna add something in here that they can get in just when they get out. That sounded weird. Um, something in here. So they could run through it from uh yeah from inside there i trying to think about where i would like them to be um like where would they naturally be maybe in here also Can I hide that away with... Oh, I could actually add more than one over here if I can. I can try to. There, so I actually hide it those away. Um, yeah, toy enrichments, but I just want to give them a bowl too, if I can find it. There. Um, so what that one down there. And maybe a ball down here. So if they want to get down here, there are some fun things to do. And you are right there. Actually, they're easier to spot than I thought they would be. And then we're gonna add some melons. I would. I don't think they're able to eat them in the water, but a lot of animals in zoos will appreciate you putting them in water. Okay, it's sixty-six percent just by adding one, but we're gonna add three, I think. Um, maybe some over here so they can be a bit hidden if they want to, uh, and then one over here. Why did you flatten the terrain? That wasn't your job. Okay, that was frustrating. Then we're just gonna move you in there, I think. There. Then you kind of can't see the metal part. I hate the metal part unless it's something where, um, like these. If you place one of these, and there would be like a, an metal um what's it called like a rope but in metal 
so you could hook in the meat for the animals so they don't drag it around the uh, habitat then they're gonna eat it right there where it is that would make sense for me but uh, it doesn't matter if any of the animals run around with the melon um, it doesn't ain't gonna ruin anything or anything like that so it should be fine um, so actually we're pretty much here. I just want to see. I think the swans can use this one Yay, they can and they got a hundred and fifty uh, In enrichment for it But that's fine So now what I wanted to do is just to show you from down here but actually, I gotta make a cut here, so we're gonna get some babies in here, and I will be back when we got some babies. Okay, so we got just we're gonna try this again. Uh, as always, I forget stuff, and it's mainly this stuff I forget. This is called, it's from the workshop, and it's called Education and Various, and it's by Sista. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um... It's wonderful to use. I actually already used it in here. You see the deer here. And then we're gonna change this one to be about the swan. Like that. And I believe I have one at every single exit. Swan. And I actually really, really like that. Then I think it's new with the mats that you can just pick this and then it's actually the picture of the animal that gets here. Uh, it's not the same actually, I'm just gonna show you. Um, here you can see this, um, this one over here. I got a black screen there. This one over here and the picture over there is actually not the same, but uh, Previously, you had to go in when you chose the animal here. Then you had to go in here and in the files in here and try to find it. Uh, and that's only if someone have made it and you have downloaded it separately. You can get it in with your custom media. Um, but a lot of the newer mods actually have it in there. Which I'm really a fan of. I'm just gonna move this one back there yeah i know it's frustrating with the moving around the screen um but i got a wide screen which i love my big screen um but it's it's kind of frustrating some of the time now do we want to use the same with the muffin and the ground scroll or do we want to do something a bit different um the one we used here is the one uh, she's that actually chose for the flamingo which I thought went with the deer as well, um, but I actually I don't want four of the same. So if I'm just gonna move them, take them here from and in these ones, no go. These ones, no go. These ones, no go. That was weird. There. There. And I don't think any of the ones over here is good. So I feel like we have these three. And if I'm gonna use this one, I'm of course gonna move the monkeys. Uh, I, I don't feel like this one. Uh, since we already got it. Uh, I don't want to take one of each. Mainly because... Um, what what was I going to say? I don't want to take one of each because then we have two of one and one of one and one of one. So I want to take two of the same. Uh, I actually... Um, this looks a lot more like a forest from a movie. Uh, this looks like tall grass which is a big part of the Danish forest. Um...
I think we're gonna go in here. I think the darker one fits better and I don't think the flowers there fits. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make this one for the ground squirrel. And then we're gonna remove this one. Yeah, here you can see the ground squirrel don't get over there. I don't have a custom... Uh, so what are we actually gonna do instead is that we are gonna make this one for the mouth one. That gets in there. Does that look weird, that picture? It kind of looked wrong. That's funny. <laughs> Um, but then we're just gonna move this one in here and try to place it where we want. We don't want to cover that, so instead we're gonna. But what if I did this? And then remove that because we don't need it twice. Uh, and then it would just secure a little more freedom back here for the animals. And as you can see, there are not enough animals out here. I think I'm gonna lower, lower the amount of uh, fellow deer I have in here. Uh, not by removing them, but just buying less of them. But we had, um, didn't we have, uh, what's that here? Just wanna no okay we gotta fix that in a minute but then we're gonna take this one down here and we can't we can't put it there can we no we can't over there then it would look like the wrong habitat so maybe just in here would that be fine hmm I don't like that because then we're gonna. We, I think we have a great view from in here, so it may be better just to put it over here. We have all of this uh, followers anyway. Why can't you be placed? I don't have any money. <laughs> um, I just gonna. That wasn't what I was going to do. I was gonna click that one. And this is why we play in sandbox mode, because when you reach a certain point, then you are unable to have the right amount of guests to the right amount of animals, because of your gamble crash at some point. Uh, different for every single computer when that point is, but for me now, if I have too many guests, it crashes. Um, so instead we're gonna do this. Um, so we could place this one here. But then we will cover that. Do we like to cover that? I actually like to have that. We could do this. And then do the same thing here. Like that. That works. And then again gives a tiny bit of cover for the animals there. Now what we're gonna do now is look for my speakers. Which are... Yeah, I have one. And then we're gonna change that for the ground squirrel since we don't have a picture of the ground squirrel. You can make your own uh, without doubt. Uh, if you if you if it's something you want to, you don't have to, but you can. I don't like to, so I don't. Um, I rather use my time inside of the game. So instead, we're gonna do this ones. And I do think like a ground squirrel is one of the animals that you would rather see than stop up and look at a picture at. Um, so here you can just, maybe it's fun for children going by here and then, oh, th listen, there's a ground squirrel. Can you find it? And oh, then you will find it. They're actually really easy to find. That's kind of a shock to me. Uh, my only issue with this zoo at uh, or this habitat at this point is the coloration. Like we got brown, we got brown, we got white, we got brown. Hey, the ugly duckling. 
Um, so we need a little bit of color, but I don't want to change anything for that. Uh, well, we get got the purple flowers, but a European forest, and mainly in the northern part of Europe where I live, my forest is green and brown and brown and brown and sometimes a bit of orange but otherwise brown so now i will come back when we got some kitties to look at and i'm back <laughs> um we got some babies now we got some swan babies deer babies we already got them um i waited a long time and now we're up at four squirrel babies um that actually took a long time and the mufflon also took a long time to get started but when he got started he kind of just uh kept going <laughs> um which is kind of uh, realistic in that way i will say though if you want to build habitats and i think i also did this uh, said this when i made the indian forest area if you want habitats with multiple animals, then you should go over here to the maintenance side of the habitat. And then make sure you have a work zone. This one is just deer and have enough of workers in that work zone. But that isn't enough. You need to go down here to the mechanic that would need to go come here more, I think. The standard is he comes once a year. I set it at three months uh, when I have a lot of animals in the same habitat um, because they will provide more damage. You also need the vet to stop by more often. I don't remember if the standard is three months or six months. I want the vet to be here every single day. That will cost more money because you will need more vets to be able to stop by every day. Um, but every time you have a habitat with many many animals it will take longer and need more personal to uh, to take care of it and the keeper is at one month every single month and that's the standard for the keeper uh, even though i can see my keepers come in here like three or um, three or four uh, times a day i most likely have more keepers in here at the same times because then some of them start cleaning and some of them start making food um, at the same time and it's pretty much because I have too many keepers for this area that they are able to do that um, which is a good thing but it is more expensive I'm just gonna fix the camera back here like that and now we're gonna take a look around i think and um, this is as i said my entrance from the we're gonna pretend this is you are in a forest maybe you are local you just take a stroll in your forest and from there you are actually able to insert in <laughs> to enter your favorite zoo and right away we got the waterfall here And we already got a little friend, two small friends. Uh, the ground squirrel here, and that is a baby mufflon. Oh, we got many of them now. <laughs> Can you reach that? Oh, you're eating for that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so cute. I'm just gonna go down in child height. Uh, well, it's a bit with the... Uh, game here uh, they probably wouldn't be able to reach that in the real world but I allow it because it's so cute oh sworn swan um <laughs> float floating swan um then here we got the oh we need to fix that just a second that was better I would like to know where the two males and one female here when you can have one male and 39 females. Ooh, that was my, uh, what's it called, albino stag here. I love him. I never want him to die. 
I've been waiting for so long to be able to take a thumb drive picture uh, because I wanted one with multiple of the new animals on it and I wasn't able to. This isn't the most pretty part of this build, but I I think it's, well, it's four meters you're gonna be beneath it, so it's fine. And here you can in uh, go out to the, we got some drinks and some food, and then over there we got the badger, and over there we got the lynx. And then we're gonna go back in here and uphill. Yeah, we got so many people right here. And over there is the restaurant. And over here we're gonna have... Uh, yeah, okay, they aren't really able to see that much in here. Um, this is the highest of Explore More. Uh, Apparently she can watch through the bushes. Whoa! <laughs> that was the male model. Then here we got some deer and the ugly duckling. Just going down here. Oh, your beak when it opens does some weird thing. Funny. <laughs> and the fellow deer kid there you're so cute yes you are and the mama oh it's a bit dark in here but it is a forest so that is pretty much to be expected i think we're gonna stay on this side and then go back the other way oh That red color when the sun just hit the red color of the muffle and I love it. If we go over here. Again we got these ones on both sides. So you can get a bit of info on the animals. And then here watch them play. I love it. Yeah, sorry, I can just stare at these animals all day. Oh, you just laid down there. That's cute. That's really cute. And then on the same side here. A little baby mufflin. <laughs> and people and people and people or mo more people. But uh, guys, that pretty much all I have for you today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell of notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye!